Hey, uh, my name is Georgia Van Kylenberg. I work in Los Angeles in front of the camera all the time, so wigs are a big thing for me, so I'm super excited to be here at wigs.com. I lost my hair for the first time in the year 2000, little spots and stuff, and I didn't wear wigs then because they were just little spots. And I worked as a hair model for probably the next five years with my little spots, and then it all fell out. So I've lost my hair five times now and have gone through so many different wigs. I have spent so many hours on the wigs.com website looking at different options. So it's kind of amazing to be here right now trying on different options and I really wanted to share them with you all because I know what it's like to be on the other side wondering what does that really look like? Like that's an amazing picture, right? Like that's a cute, stylized, perfectly coiffed situation that lady's got on her head, but what's it gonna look like when I do this? So I'm here to show you what it looks like when it does this. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you some of the different wigs today. I decided for years I've been a long blonde girl. Like that's all I've ever done is the long blonde because that's who I was. So I kind of wanted to look like me was my idea. Like I want to walk up into a room and people go, oh yeah, that's Georgia. Not, oh, what, what have you done with your hair? And then I have to be like, well, it's technically not mine because I can't keep my mouth shut. I can't lie. So recently I've been trying bobs, which I'm super excited because just learned apparently that makes me cool. <laughs> but I tried on a bob a couple of months ago and there was just something about it where it was like, you know, I'm not 18 anymore when I lost my hair and I'm not 20 or even with a two or, you know, I've definitely got a three, definitely got a three in front of my number so far. But being in my mid thirties, long blonde maybe isn't the total look that I'm going for. So I put this bob on and I kind of looked in the mirror and the thought was that looks like who I am now. That looks like my energy. That looks like a woman that's got her stuff together, that's been through stuff, and it's just like a stylized thing. So, so appropriate that today I would be showing you a bob because I think that it does frame our faces better. I don't know what you think. You could be like, mm, no, 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 but I think so. Um, I think it's sort of, as we grow older, like we so right, how many of you are spending time with those machines right now? Do you see them on Instagram where you're like doing this on your face? I may do face yoga possibly. Um, and so having this actually accentuates it more than the flat, long hair. So <laughs> cheat, get a bob. Uh, so this is a Raquel Welch on point that I'm trying on right now. And what I actually am surprised about is how good the lace front is because I've got so used to sort of the lace fronts that I have being these super expensive pieces um, that you have to, but this lace front is so good. This would be a definite, I don't know, wig wearing ladies if you've had the moment with guys where they're like, I literally can't see where the wig starts. Like it's in your head. It's literally like, you're not, no, you're not wearing a wig. Your hair is going into your head. This is one of those amazing hair into the head situations, which we all want. That should not be a coined phrase, hair into the head situation. Um, but it's got that going on in such a good way and it's very like to the skin. One of my bigger issues with lace front is that it can lift up and this is not lifting up at all. I don't even think, I'm wearing tape, but I don't think I would need tape for most things, like unless I'm skydiving or other things, I'm just saying. Uh, then I probably wouldn't need tape. I meant playing sport. Where did you go? Um, so we've got this, but the color also, I'm definitely a like blonde, blonde person usually. <laughs> you can tell by some of the things I say. Um, but this is a little bit darker for me, but I still think it works because it's got the blonde highlights in it. So this is what they call golden russet, like a potato, if you need to remember that, but cuter than a potato, right? Um, and so it's the golden russet, which is the um, RL2925, and that makes it a blend between ginger blonde and medium golden blonde. And you can see all the lines in there, right? Like all the different, I mean, this is the stuff that like, when I do wear the highlight wigs, people are always like, but why'd you get your color done? Your color is amazing. I'm like, yeah, I know, I bought it, thanks. Which is funny, because I've always been like, oh, it's not mine, but 
when you're wearing a wig, you tend to have bought it, so it is yours. So maybe we shouldn't be saying that. I don't know why I say that all the time, but this is mine. It's mine. I got it colored. It cost me lots of money, ladies. Um, so I think the color for me works because I have darker eyebrows and brown eyes. And sometimes when you have the really white blonde, it can blow out the whole thing and people are like, but your eyebrows don't match your hair. And that's where, you know, they start trying to work out what's different. That's why I love this, cause it looks so real. And it's got a mono part. So that means that you've got the one line of the part situation here, which it looks like, right? You can see scalp which is very clever and very important because that's another thing where you're like, is this real? I don't know if this is real. But the mono part looks like this on this other gorgeous piece over here, which by the way is the Gabar, Gabor High Society. This has a mono part as well. So you can see how it's like it's created where there's the lace in there. So when you see the part, it's magic. That is so important. I cannot tell you how important. Excuse me, lady, I'm just gonna redress you. Um, there you go. You're so cute. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's just an important part of the whole process, but I love this because not only does it have the layers and the color layers, but it's got, I've always liked a thing. I don't know if that's the official name for it, but when you have a like at the bottom, I think it's fun because people expect it to be all perfect. And that's not how, like when you go through a day, your hair gets messed up the rain happens, whatever, and it changes direction. This is so important when you wanna look like you're not wearing a wig. If you wanna look like you're wearing a wig, do whatever. But for me, I really don't want people to be asking me about it on a day to day because I'm trying to have my day. First to talk about alopecia areata, which is what I have. But when I'm wearing a wig and I'm out, I'm probably more interested in you and what you're doing. So I feel like this wig is one of those perfect wigs to just one, reflect who you are, show your personality, but also look extremely natural and extremely real. And that is my bob story, and I'm sticking to it. Bye everybody, thank you so much for joining me, and um, this has been so fun to talk to you about wigs. Thanks for listening. I hope you listen. Oh, oh, I have to press stop. Technology, one day I'll catch up. <laughs>